When actress Meryl Streep used her Golden Globes award speech to call on artists to oppose President-elect Donald Trump, she spoke not just for Hollywood, but for many artists in many forms of expression. Dred Scott is a performance and video artist based in Brooklyn. His work explores themes of race and racism. He fears Trump's impact on free expression. He's shown time and again that he actually has no respect for the arts or anybody who you know, challenges him. Trump is actually a fascist, and a hallmark of fascism is going after people who dissent and, and question. And so I think that the arts will be under threat, anybody who actually makes art that matters. A Chicago artists collective has an earthy take on Trump. In October, they installed dozens of gold-painted toilets around the city with names of Trump supporters or surrogates emblazoned on the lids. The message, dump Trump. Everything about him is crap. He should just be flushed. He's the president-elect. It's just unfathomable. It hasn't sunk in yet. Trump has a handful of supporters in the arts, including rapper Kanye West. But Team Trump has been turned down by a flock of A-list entertainers asked to perform at his inauguration. Trump's presidency could affect the arts in another important way. His tax plan would cut deductions for charitable donations of artworks to museums, a favored tax strategy of the 1%. Dred Scott says artists have a responsibility to speak out. Artists, you know, have the capacity, a relatively unique capacity, to, to channel people's highest hopes and dreams and aspirations. All of us need to use our public voice, use our statements, talk with our friends, be part of demonstrations, and the, and the artists that do the kind of work that, that I do, yes, we need to be making work that's specifically targeting this administration and lifting people's sights to a world without fascism. A new chapter in the long-running U.S. culture wars now underway. Rob Reynolds, Al Jazeera, Los Angeles.